<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And together we are Backyard Musings. The science and technology channel. Are we the experts, Scott? Definitely not today. We're not the experts. <laughs> I can't even pronounce well, that stuff. So. What yeah. you see on your screen is an artist rendition of a vulture that was caught unawares in a volcanic explosion 30,000 years ago and died. And that plumage of, flower, of, of ash that you see is about to bury that vulture. And so archaeologists dug this up. And uh, this, uh, this segment yeah. is really interesting. Well, it's uh, cool. As it's, it's more cool than it is interesting. So yeah. follow along with, the, with us. Paleontologists have unveiled a 30,000-year-old vulture fossil in Italy preserved in volcanic ash, showing microscopic feather details through the formation of zeolite minerals. This remarkable discovery challenges our understanding of fossil preservation, suggesting that even delicate soft tissues can survive in harsh volcanic environments. That's good to know that we can survive in harsh volcanic environments. That's good. Published March 18, 2025 in the journal Geology, the study found that the fossil's feathers are preserved in a mineral called zeolite, an entirely new form of soft tissue preservation. Uh, maybe they'll use this uh, for Luke Skywalker to prever preserve his skin. Would you like to know more? Okay, before I start reading, I'm gonna, I got a question though. So volcanic ash has got to be, I would say, on the warm or hot side, right? Did you say the that? ash probably on the warm side yeah so how did feathers or fur or skin survive that that's just amazing to me that uh, it's fascinating so you know? we know remember we did the segment on the uh, uh crystallized brain you know the that iconoclast that boiled it to 500 celsius and then the rapid cooling that that about might be a when we were talking about uh, Mount Vesuvius, right? Right. And who knows? This might have been Mount Vesuvius that erupted 30,000 years ago. It's in Italy, central Italy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Uh, a recent study of a 30,000-year-old fossilized vulture from, the central, from central Italy has revealed for the first time that volcanic rock can preserve microscopic details of feathers. Uh, isn't that slide you're looking at right now? Yep. This groundbreaking discovery marks the first recorded instance of such pre preservation. Led by Dr. Valentina Rossi of uh, University College Cork, Ireland, and an international research team identified as previously unknown, uh, previously identified an unknown way that soft tissues can be preserved when animals are buried in ash rich volcanic sediments. Yeah. Look at the detail of that. I mean, you can see the individual feather strands. It is yeah. it is totally cool. And then, towards the top there, you can see the rest of the vulture, you know. Right. This is just one feather. Yeah. No, this it's, is, yeah, this is. It's, it's pretty cool. Perplexing, actually. Like I said, I, I think, of, like I was saying, asking, I think of volcanic ash as being hot, like ash coming out of your fireplace, you know, after it's, after your fire's burning. Uh, you don't pick up coals or ash because but I, I don't I don't think it's enough to melt your body, you know. I, yeah, I think it's feather. enough to cover you and preserve you. Right. Have you ever lit a feather though? Have you ever put a match near a feather? I have not. <laughs> what happens? It, oh, it just vaporizes, it just goes up. Yeah, it's oh, great. Wow. Hmm. So anyway, this is a fascinating stuff. So the, the vulture fossil was originally discovered in 1889 near Rome. So it's not Vesu well. Vesuvius is near Rome, uh, by a local landowner who recognized its exceptional state of preservation. The entire body was fossilized as a three-dimensional impression, retaining remarkable details such as eyelids and wing feathers. The new research confirms that this preservation extends to microscopic feather pigment structures, offering unprecedented insight into ancient plumage. Dr. Rossi said uh, fossil feathers are usually preserved in ancient mud rocks laid down in lakes or lagoons. Uh, the fossil vulture is preserved in ash deposits, deposits, which is extremely unusual. 
When analyzing the fossil vulture plumage, we found them ourselves in uncharted territory. These feathers are nothing like what we usually see in other fossils. So, yeah, that almost looks like an actual feather, right? Yeah, it does. By analyzing tiny samples of the fossil feathers using electron microscopes and chemical tests, the team revealed that the feathers are preserved in the mineral zeolite, a mode of fossil preservation never reported before. Uh, quote, zeolites are mineral, minerals rich in silicon and aluminum and are common in volcanic and hydrothermal geological settings, uh, Rossi explains. Going on with a quote, zeolites can form as primary minerals with pretty crystals or can be or can form uh, sedent sedentarily uh, during the natural alter alteration of volcanic glass and ash, giving the rock a mud rock like aspect. Uh, the alteration of this ash due to passage of water induced the participate precipitation of zeolites nanocrystals that in turn re replicated the feathers to an uh, the tiniest cellular detail. Crazy. But that's, so that's actually not the feather. That's just a. Uh, right. That's just uh, that's what what formed. Version. Fossilized version. Like the uh, like a plaster, if you will, a plaster cast of the feather down to the microscopic level. Right. Pretty. And I'm using that term loosely. It's not a plaster cast, but it's like a, a mold. Yeah. Right. All right. Quote: The fine preservation of the feather structures indicates that the vulture carcass was entombed in a low temperature pyroclastic deposit. Professor David A. Uh, Iorino, University of Milan, coordinator of the study said, quote, we are use, used to think that volcanic deposits are associated with hot, fast moving pyroclastic currents that will destroy soft tissues. However, these geological settings are complex and can include low temperature deposits that can preserve soft tissues at the cellular level. Professor Maria McNamara um, at UCC said, the fossil record is continually surprising us, be it new fossil species, strange new body shapes, or in, in this case, new styles of fossil preservation. We never expected to find a, delic uh, to find a delicate tissue such as feathers, preserved in a volcanic rock. Discoveries such as these brought, uh, broaden the range of potential rock types where we can still, uh, or where we can find fossils, even those preserving the fragile soft tissues. Uh, the discovery of a new mode of preservation of soft tissues <laughs> of volcanic rock indicates that these deposits can contain remarkable fossils and should be the focus of news research. So yeah, so I mean, it, up until this point, I'm, I'm taking from that last segment that volcanic rock or, or um, ash fields or whatever have been overlooked because of possible temperature issues or whatever. But yeah, this is cool. So look at all the stuff that they might discover with all the, I mean, we've got lots of lava flows and it's just, yeah, it's cool. So when, when we were visiting Hawaii a long time ago, when I was visiting, um, there are on um, the Big Island um, around Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa. There are footprints preserved in the volcanic um, lava flow or ash or whatever. I guess people trying to travel from one side of the island, the shortest route is over the mountain, right? They got caught in a volcanic eruption, vaporized, but the footprints are still there. Footprints in volcanic rock is pretty crazy. Crazy. Yeah, well, so yeah, so that that would be uh, that that'll be a whole new area for exploration. Pretty cool. And uh, folks, if you happen to be in the LA area or even San Diego or Monterey, it's worth the time to go to the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles. It's like like downtown Los Angeles, and these tar pits they're still pulling fossils out of the tar pits, and these are these are like. Um, bones that that have been preserved from the, the tar that has been encased for thousands and hundreds of thousands of years and what they're pulling out dire wolves and vultures and mammoth um saber tooth lots of saber tooth and dire wolf uh fossils because like the let's say the woolly mammoth gets caught in the tar 
the dire wolf or the saber tooth jumps onto it and starts eating it. And then as it's sinking, it gets caught the saber tooth and it goes down with the mammoth too. Yeah, I'm born and raised here in Southern California and never been there. I gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta we go. Talked Scott. About, we talked about something about that last year too. So yeah, gotta go. You can see like the bubbles coming up from the from like there's a big tar area that's fenced off, and you can see bubbles coming up. It's amazing. So, folks, if you get a chance in LA, go to the La Brea Tar Pits. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, and is it a is it a uh, an event that you could go to that's not very well? Um, it's not very popular. Are there a lot of people? There? It just depends on the day and the time. I guess on the weekends it's it's packed, but there's like a little visitor center that shows all of the the uh, fossils they pulled out, like um, a sloth, the sloth, a sloth the size of an elephant, maybe a small elephant. Camels. There's a camel skeleton they put together. They're working on this big uh, woolly mammoth tusk. They're trying to preserve. So there's an area where they're working and then the area where the kids can look at all the fossils and stuff. It is amazing. You got to go, Scott. There are. So, and all these, all these bones and artifacts and artifacts were pulled from this tar, these tar pits. Yeah. So they'll, they'll have an open pit that they're digging and you'll see the wood lagging on the side, you know, where they, where they go down and to keep the earth back and they're down there and they're digging, they're using the brush and it's really slow. And then they've got an area where they dug down and then they just put, uh, they covered it and they put glass. You can walk down and you can, and it's right in the sediment. You can see all the bones that are merged together from the animals that died at that location. They just got it there so you can see what it looked like, you know. It is yep. fascinating. Got to go. Yeah. Gotta All right, go. folks. Thanks for joining us. Take care, everyone. We'll talk to you later.